the 2023 Indian FTR right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. So I just pressed on the uh, on the gas button. You can see the sun hitting the carbon right here. You can... <laughs> That'll be the first thing to go. I put a nice little short exhaust on there. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to be reviewing the 2023 Indian FTR right here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I've had it in my possession for the, let's say, past three weeks, two, two three weeks. Um, I've taken it out a few times. It is an amazing bike to ride it's a fun bike to ride so with that being said huge shout out to indian for loaning me this motorcycle i mean i don't know how long i'm gonna have it for but <laughs> it's it's pretty pretty amazing now in this video we're gonna do a nice little walk around on the bike we're gonna be talking about uh, a few of the specs talking about everything the bike brings and then going on the road and letting you guys know how it feels to ride this little demon right here first things first obviously we're gonna start talking about looks this thing just looks completely beautiful you can see the sun hitting the carbon right here. You got carbon fiber right here on this cover, which wraps around the LED headlight in the front. Uh, carbon fiber on that front. Mini little fender. Carbon fiber on the tank. And it just stands out a mile away, man. Um, redesigned seat on the carbon right here as well. So nice, beautiful, soft seat. Um, feels like a nice little gel pad on it. You're also going to have an LED uh, tail light in the back, which looks really nice when it's illuminated. Um, also, very, very, very impressive. You're going to have Olin's front and rear suspension fully adjustable which is a plus brembo from brakes in the front dual disc from brakes at that um stopping power on this bike is really really good guy has a really nice deep bite to it um and it, it's it does the job right now moving away to the back you're gonna see that dual exhaust here in the back nice little design i mean if this was my bike personally obviously that'll be the first thing to go i put a nice little short exhaust on there um obviously making the bike sound and perform a, a lot better um i also get rid of this in the back because this this is yeah we don't we don't need that we could relocate this uh plate somewhere else but just the overall design of the bike looks really really cool guys if you're not familiar too familiar with indian and the ftr this bike is basically built and made from the flat track history that indian has had over the years um they dominate flat track this bike was basically born from that i think it's pretty cool that they were able to take this whole idea from their flat track bikes and you know give it to the consumer um nice frame design right here man this frame design is really cool also this also is used as a, as a handle right there so if you do or are going to put a passenger in the back they kind of hold on to this right here i mean i really don't see anyone putting a passenger on this bike i mean anyone who's going to run and ride this bike is because they want to act like a hooligan and that's what this bike is is exactly intended for so it's intended for hooligan rides it's intended for you to get on it have fun just rip around town and do all sorts of cool stuff now this liquid cooled v-twin engine is going to come back in 120 horsepower and 87 foot pounds of torque so it's it's definitely a, a little little power monster um the bike weighs around 500 pounds so uh, a lot of power light bike real really easy to maneuver around and ride around once we get on the bike i'll well demonstrate how easy it is to throw the bike around and how easy it is to ride anyways i think we pretty much covered most of the aesthetic stuff let's just get on the bike right now and uh take on the road now to turn on is gonna be real simple you're gonna get a key turn it over there we go god i really really love this tank right here now this is the ftr carbon edition guys indian is going to provide you with a few different models on the ftr lineup you're going to have the regular ftr the ftr sport the ftr rally um the ftr carbon edition right here and there's one more i'm gonna put them right here so you guys can see it on the website so you guys can see all the different models and um see the different price points as well this being top 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 of the line this bike is gonna come around seventeen thousand dollars so yes it is a little pricier uh compared to the stock model or even the sport but with that being said you are gonna get all the bells and whistles on this bike right here and obviously 
it, it it looks the best man i mean just the, the carbon it just it just does it for me <laughs> let's go now for what i'm doing right now around the town this bike is super super fun bike is going to come equipped with three different riding modes you're going to have standard you're going to have sport and you're going to have brain mode um sport mode let me just tell you guys i, I mentioned it in the video before um and i mentioned that the videos when i rode the sport chief sport mode is is it feels crazy sport mode just wants to launch you off the bike it's 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 for you to go nuts on it man it's it's it's, it's nuts so you know, you'll probably enjoy uh using a standard mode around town if you're going to be in a lot of stop and go traffic i definitely recommend standard uh sport mode if you're going to take it on the highway for sure now this bike is going to redline at 9,000 rpm but it is going to make most of its power at 6,000 rpm that's where everything's going to just drop off after that very easy to use this four inch analog right here as you can see switch it around for whatever you want to see but all your information anything you don't want to know it's on that four inch screen right there so it is going to come with navi you are going to be able to see your fuel consumption your battery life as you can see here outside temperature um miles per gallon all that good stuff on there you are also going to have accessibility and it is Bluetooth capable, so you connect your phone or music, whatever it is to it, and you're able to navigate through that as well. You are able to access your riding modes through there, or if you want to do it from the toggles, right here on the left side. And it's real easy to tap, very user-friendly. Um, if you tap right here, this menu button, that's what's gonna allow you to keep your sport mode, standard mode, or rain, as you can see right there. We got traction control on right now, we could take that off easily if we want as well we can make the screen brighter and then right here in the screen you're going to have your gauges you want to see your bike uh your ride your phone like i said before music uh your map for your gps amongst other things now this bike is a little culmination of everything because it is a an american v-twin but you could say it's an american sport bike at the same time or a naked bike it's just a little bit of everything mixed all together i kind of i don't know what you would kind of categorize this bike as because it kind of fits in in each little pocket Woo! <laughs> and this is why even if you're on standard mode you're good there's power everywhere very easy to maneuver in and out of traffic because it's packing a bunch of power so if that's the type of bike you're looking for, this could be it right here. Definitely fun. Now, like I was saying before, it does come with fully adjustable front and rear, all in suspension. It feels great. It pretty much absorbs everything. And the fact that it's fully adjustable, you're able to just adjust it to your liking, depending on what type of riding you're gonna be doing. Now, as far as the bar setup, you um, got like a little slight mini bend right here in this bar. It does feel really comfortable. Your foot controls are going to be pushed back more. So not your ordinary cruiser per se. So this is more on the sportier side, more on the naked bike type of feel. So your feet are going to be placed further back, kind of like a sport bike, but not so aggressive. Now, when it comes to handling and cornering, she handles great i told you guys before that super light um you're able to take it around the twisties and just kind of throw her over just like this and it feels real real nimble really light really easy to maneuver and use the bike now this is the part of the video where i would talk about who this bike is for um and this bike is for anybody this bike is basically for anyone who wants to have fun on a bike if you want to have it as your only primary bike you're gonna like it 
Um, but for those of you guys that have several bikes, um, those who have cruisers, mainly those who have cruisers, this is the type of crowd who I'm talking to right now. For those of you guys who have baggers and you kind of want a smaller bike, something fun to have as a secondary option, this is it right here, man. So much fun. So light. I mean, I have a, I have, I have a bagger at home and, and, and I mean, th those bikes are really heavy. Sometimes I just want to get something light and just rip around town and, you know, yes, I do it on that bike, but it's, it's different when you're on something like this. Now, this bike is also going to come equipped with cruise control right here, which we have easy access to on my left hand. Controls are real simple to use. Now, I'm able to just switch this around right here, this flicker on my right side to navigate throughout my screen right here as you can see as i'm clicking it it's changing the screen you're gonna have your power and cutoff switch right here on the right side right here on the left you're gonna flicker that and that's gonna give you access to your high beam um your cruise control button like right here like i said your back button in case you want to go back on the screen because you're in and out of something but then i also have access right here to access this menu button and just move around uh well that's pretty cool i'm able to access a gas station let me see click in there pretty cool your left and turn signal right here and then last but not least your horn oh that's pretty cool i didn't even know that so i just pressed on the uh on the gas button and it pretty much brings up any gas station that's nearby me um i'll i guess i'll just click on it let's see you'll click on it and then uh it automatically sets up the GPS to get you to uh, the nearest one. That's pretty cool. I like that. Standard mode. I've been going back to standard sport mode this whole time, and uh, I know I said before that sport mode just feels too crazy, but <laughs> now I'm going back on that. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> it's fun. You know what? Let's bring it over to uh, to torque real quick. I want to show Mike this bike. This Mike loves all type of bikes like this, and uh, I want to see his impression on it. Huh? Nice the then which one? The first series. Oh hell yeah! This is way nicer. Yeah. Smaller wheels. The rims are a little plain, like a little. Aluminum looking, but I guess it matches the yeah, yeah. Is that an oil window? Mm hmm. That's sick. That's cool. Fully adjustable front and rear suspension. It's awesome, man. Olin's in the front, too. Yeah. yeah. Olin's Brembo. Three riding modes. It fills here. Yeah. I guess it just fills back here. But they're all not like this. This is the carbon. Here's the carbon edition, so the most expensive one. It's like 70 grand. This is turn the uh, let's see screen. Takes a little while. That's nice though. Yeah, the other ones do that too. Different sport modes. You wanna see your gauges, you wanna see your navy. Does it have any kind of running nav on your phone is the bluetooth over or is it all only its own nav it, it has you can connect your bluetooth through it as well and then your nav goes on yeah yeah uh that i don't know like apple carplay type of thing like that uh, that i'm not sure but it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. yeah on a real small screen like that yeah Damn. yeah it's pretty good so, pretty nice thing as fast as hell dude now just to let you guys know i am 5'7 so i kind of tippy toe this bike in a way 
not all the way to my tippy toes. I'm like uh, on the balls of my feet. Talking about that, the bike is a lot better than uh, than the first gen. I rode the first gen and I, I hated it because it was so high and super uncomfortable. Suspension was horrible and it was just, it, 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 it wasn't fun to ride, man. So after Indian went back into the lab and updated everything, they changed everything that basically all the customers didn't like about it. And this is what we have now. I think it's pretty awesome that, you know, they, they, they listen to their, their customers and they're able to go back to the drawing boards and fix everything nice and quick. That's awesome, man. Now, this bike also does come with uh, your rear cylinder deactivator. So, when you're at a stoplight, that rear cylinder will deactivate. <laughs> Sounds so cool, man. Yeah, this this bike with it with an exhaust. What a nice aftermarket exhaust, man. Would sound great. All right, so where are we at? Where are we at? Let's get on the highway real quick and uh, test her out. <laughs> yeah, she gets up there so quick. There are so many bumps on this road and the suspension just absorbs everything so nicely and even at higher speeds you would think that it would just be all over the place but it handles so good and it's so easy to just throw around and maneuver it's a fun bike man it is so so fun you got a bunch of tech if you're into having a bunch of tech on your bike you're gonna have that on this bike it looks amazing so if you want a pretty bike, this is it right here. So easy to maneuver, so fun, so light, and it's different, just different. So if you want, if that if that's what you're looking for, this might be the bike for you, man. Now this bike is gonna come priced at around 17,000 and change, like I said before. I'll put the exact price right here for you guys so you guys can see, 17.5 baby. So if you can swallow that pill and that's not an issue, then hey, this is it. Now, if you are looking for a comparison to this bike, the bike you might be looking at might be the Harley Davidson Sportster S, which we're going to be doing a comparison video pretty soon. And I'm going to be taking both bikes up to Bear Mountain. We're going to take it on twisties and we're going to see which one handles better. Um, and we're going to see as far as performance, how they both feel. So tune in for that video. That video might be up next week um but yeah man I, I i love this bike i hope i get to keep this bike around the house for some time because i want to keep riding it but anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up if you like this bike or if you took any knowledge away from this video here as well i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace